Chili, and today you're watching OMG's Organization Back to School Edition. In this series, I'll be uploading 10 videos on the duration of one month about organization, DIYs, and back to school. And today is, of course, a oh, this lens is killing me. Oh my god, DIY video, and I'm going to show you guys how to make some organization for back to school, school supplies, and other things you might need, like this little thing behind here which is really cute, you'll see it later. And since this video is a DIY, I of course teamed up with Pandura Hobby, which is a craft supply store where I buy all my craft supplies. And all the crafts in this video are of course from Pandura, and they have stores in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, and they also have an online store, which I'll link down below. This lens is perfection. No intense series consisting of like 10 or more episodes should be without a prize at the end. So therefore, I'm giving away a iPad mini. All you need to do to enter in this giveaway is subscribe to me, put on post notifications, aka click that bell, and follow me on Instagram, which is majorly official. All right, I think that's all. Let's get right ahead and get into this video. So if you want to get organized for back to school, it's essential that you have a weekly calendar slash to-do list to keep track of all the things you need to do. Let's DIY one. You'll need five Polaroid frames. These are from Urban Outfitters. Stick on letters, a glue gun, and frame. First off, remove the glass part from the frame and lay out all the Polaroid frames in a way that suits your eye. Now stick on your letters with the first letter being the first letter in the word of the day they represent. And for me, Wednesday starts with O because that's what it does in Norwegian. Hashtag Norwegian squad, where you at? <laughs> but yeah, after that, you want to grab your glue gun and glue all the frames into place. Finally, hang your amazing calendar on your wall and write on your weekly to-dos inside the frames with some dry erase markers. But yeah, that is this DIY. It's such a cute way to keep track of your things. Am I right? So being organized for school consists largely of keeping track of all your notes for classes and having easy to grasp structure in them. But I swear that's so hard to do if your notebook isn't inspiring you to do exactly that. To regrade this amazing shattered glass notebook, you'll need a pink notebook, mirror stickers, gold 3D letters, and a glue gun. Firstly, I cut the back protruding part of the letter and then I hot glued them all onto the front page of the book. Afterwards, I opened the stickers pack and placed the stickers all around the letters to act as shattered glass, broken glass, you know what I mean? And how pretty is this book now? It's one of my favorites, just saying. Amazing is the see-through school supplies holder with the added detail of work, work, work. This DIY is perfect for anyone who wants to slay this back to school season. To make it yourself, you'll need small alphabet foam stickers, five stamping blocks, purple spray paint, and a hot glue gun. Firstly, spell out the word work three times or, you know, however many you feel is appropriate <laughs> with your stick on foam letters onto one of the stamping blocks. Then grab your spray paint and cover the whole block with the color. While that's drying, start assembling the three blocks together like this. And when the block is dry and the spray paint is completely dry, peel the stickers right off. You could use your nails or a tweezer, that's what I did. And you should be left with perfect spelled out words. Then slip beside the colored block right into the three glass pieces hot glued together and hot glue this to the sides of them. Last but not least, add the final piece, hot glue it into place, and put your at-home school supplies in it. back to the early 2000s with this totally stylish ombre on denim notebook. Yes, you heard right. You'll need some non-sticky paper, watercolor, watercolor paper, a blue denim looking book, this one is from Pandora Hobby, a glue stick, some kind of white foam product, shaving cream works wonders, and yeah, that's all. Firstly, add some shaving cream or similar into three different cups like so, and add one shade of color into each of them. Now flip all the cups with color on their head and mix together on the non-sticky paper. Once you're happy with how the design looks, grab your watercolor paper and stick it right in there. Pick it up and scrape off all the foam and let it dry. Afterwards, cut the watercolored paper out to fit the front page of your book and use a glue stick to stick it on. Now write the name of the subject you'll be using this book for with some letter stickers. I chose my white foam ones because I love them, they're super cute and remind me of the 2000s. Anyway, aren't you guys getting some serious 2000 vibes with this book? I mean, it's super cute. Honestly, 
what's a organized desk with a ugly mouse pad? Not a organized desk, in my opinion, anyway. To rate right this cloud mouse pad, you'll need a pair of scissors, a small mirror by Panduro, yellow cloud fabric, and a glue gun. Firstly, draw out the shape of the mirror onto the fabric and cut it out about one to two centimeters from the outline we just made. This way, the fabric part will be a little bit bigger than the mirror. Now, while pulling on the fabric, apply some hot glue onto the edge of the mirror and pull the fabric to the back as so. Then just proceed to do this all around the edges, making sure the fabric stays tight the whole time. Et voilà, c'est tout. Très facile, non? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Do you have tons of pens and desperately need a place to organize them? Let this pencil looking organizer be their new home. To recreate this, you will need brown wood looking paper, two pieces of white cardboard, a glue gun, a pair of scissors, a craft knife of your choice, and a ruler. Firstly, draw a straight line from the side of the cardboard and mash it up with a five centimeter wide line. All right, that may be kind of hard to understand, but just make sure the piece isn't any wider than five centimeters and just see what I'm doing right here. Cut it out and create three more identical pieces. Now glue two together so they look like a cute house and then the two others on either side of that house. Draw a circle on the cardboard around the piece, cut it out and glue both of the cardboard pieces together. Now grab any colored paper of your choice and cut out five centimeter wide pieces Pieces and fold them up like those DIY fans we made in like elementary school. Attach that right onto the outside of the cardboard piece with some hot glue and repeat until the whole outside bottom is covered in this zigzag paper. Finally, for the top of the pencil, attach some brown paper onto the top of the cardboard. And once it's all attached, go over the shape of the paper to make it look like an actual pencil with a pair of scissors. Lastly, I added a small circle cut out from the pink paper to the top of the pencil and then I put in and organized all my pens and pencils. So yeah, if this isn't the greatest way to store pencils and pens like ever, I don't know what is. <laughs> with intention save the cutest DIY in the entire video to last, a cacti art notebook. Uh, yes please, you'll need paintbrushes, watercolors, a pencil, a black brush pen, and a black fine tip pen. Start off by drawing all the different shape outlines of your cacti and then proceed to fill them all in with watercolor. I chose the colors green, pink, and yellow for this book and the pigment is so nice, the colors show up beautifully. After the watercoloring is dry, simply erase the pen outline and either leave it as it is or go in with a black fine tip pen and outline the cacti. Finally, at last, grab your brush pen and write out the name of the subject or a pretty word that reminds you of a specific subject. However, keep in mind if you decide to recreate this notebook that it might become a highly attractive blueberry item at your school because of its cuteness. Probably not, but just to be on the safe side. Take good care of this baby cat notebook. <laughs> video i hope you guys enjoyed and learned a lot of fun diys that you can try yourself and if you did try them make sure to hashtag that with the hashtag omg it's organization on instagram so i can like your picture follow you comment on your picture you know whatever floats your boats what <laughs> make sure to stay tuned and put on post notifications for the next video in the series because you're gonna drop down and be like oh my god did she actually do that check out Pandora if you live in norway sweden or denmark and you want to recreate any of these diys and yeah i think that's all Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone! Mwah.